Hello again! You are the only person I will put mascara on for these days. Welcome back to my office. Um, I'm trying out a slightly different tripod uh, orientation today, so I hope you enjoy that. We're doing a, another bedtime book review today, and we're going to be looking at Baby Dragon, a finger puppet book by Victoria Ying. Um, a couple of reasons why I just, the idea of sitting down and recording a bedtime story with my daughter lately has just for some reason seemed like an insurmountable goal. She's very energetic, cooped up in the house all day. I think that's probably part of it. Um, I find like I can't, I feel like I can't find the time to do it and I just like to leave my evening sacred. So it's just not happening today. We're here by ourselves. Um, I don't know if my microphone is picking up, but she is actually out with her, um, Lola playing in the kitchen right now and I picked this little book for a couple reasons one because I saw it and I was like I haven't done that one yet another it's very short so I won't have to be recording for very long with the fan off in here and number three uh, because they finally announced that comic-con was canceled for 2020 and um, I got this last year at comic-con and I just had some fun memories and I'm trying to give shout outs when I can to the small creators and store owners that I have got stuff from at Comic-Con so that you all know um, what cool stuff is available to go check out for yourself because some of these people are missing out on probably a significant chunk of their year's income if they're not able to sell at a booth at Comic-Con. So you can check out Victoria Ying. I bought this at her booth last year at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Um, and so it's actually signed on the back there. And there's a little dragon doodle here. You can see there's a whole series of finger puppet books. Baby Koala, Baby Penguin, Baby Hedgehog. All that she had available at the booth when I was there was Baby Dragon and Baby Unicorn. And I thought the dragon was cute, and so I picked it. And let's go ahead and start off by reading this cute little finger puppet book. In a cozy cave in the mountains, Baby Dragon wakes up. He's ready to learn how to be the best dragon ever! First, Baby Dragon guards the treasure. Keep out! Rawr. Then he practices breathing fire. Whoops! Finally, it's time to fly! Is Baby Dragon ready? Good job, Baby Dragon! That's it. Super cute, super tiny. Um, this is great as lengthwise um, for very young children who don't have the patience for a long story or to sit there and go through a whole narrative. I like that it does have a narrative, um, but it doesn't require you to follow along page by page. Like it does, like he starts in the morning and he ends, you know, in the evening. But it doesn't really matter if the baby just pulls to the, the middle page and whatever. Um, our daughter loves the little puppet. Um, I think now at almost two years old, she's starting to get the idea of like sticking her own finger in there and using puppets herself. But previously, um, she just thought it was hilarious that this little dragon would, uh, you know, move around when she would touch it or look at it. And we'd be, you know, trying to growl at her and stuff. Um, it is slightly, like, with the speed and impatience with which a very young child is trying to pull these pages back and forth. Um, every time you close a page, you gotta wiggle the little dragon's ears out through the hole. Um, I don't know what the other books in the series, which of them um, might be the easiest to move the puppet through the holes. You know, fewer appendages. I don't know if the unicorn's horn gets dented after so many uses, um, but that is just something to consider. It seems pretty sturdy because we've given it some, you know, solid use and everything seems to be intact. Um, surprisingly, the back page is not any thicker than the other pages. 
you would think that you would need more than just that uh, level layer of cardboard to hold everything in place, but it seems very sturdy. Um, and all the pages, like I said, are the same width. They're a nice thick width for a board book. Um, you know, the point of a board book is to make it durable for a little kid to chew on. And this has held up very well. You can see it's gotten a little bit of a beating around the edges. Um, but I think it's really cute. This is a great size to throw in like a diaper bag because it doubles up as like a toy so that you can interact with the child or they can sort of play with it themselves like a little stuffy. Um, or it can just be a book and it's in a small compact travel size. So I definitely recommend checking these out. Um, let's see, what's the website? ChronicleKids.com is the publisher. And I don't know if Victoria Ying has her own website, which I'm sure she probably does, or some sort of social media. I will track down what her preferred contact seems to be and post that below as well if you're interested in checking out whatever else she does. Um, she has some other artwork and stuff at her booth, but I thought this little board book was perfect as a little gift for our... She was just a year old when I got this for her and she has loved it. So that is my recommendation for you today. I hope you enjoyed this sort of improvised video. It's you know, you know, it's it's just COVID season and we're all we're all a little bit off. Um, thanks for watching. Go ahead and check out the playlist of all my previous bedtime book reviews for various takes on various kinds of children's literature. And I'll see you in the next one next month. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll post a video every Thursday and Sunday. So I'll see you in the next one then. Bye.